is sponsored by Dynamic Funds. Time now to say good morning to Mike Eppel. A good Friday morning, Mike. Uh, just before hey, the we break, made we made it. We made it, right? <laughs> just before the break, we had uh, a little bit of a tease. I know you're going to talk about it later, but I'm already feeling a little upset about what you're going to tell us a little bit later about uh, a good summer treat that we have. Uh, yeah, thank you. We'll see. We'll talk about it later. We're, but I we're, just... not, we're not in summer anymore, so it's not going to be as... Maybe as painful. I like we'll it year it. round, sure. but still. Yeah. Uh, okay, there you go. Yeah. 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 But uh, good news, though, heading into the weekend when it comes to the mm. TSX, uh, still that high it's been riding doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. It could be lucky 13 today. Hmm. We'll see. Hmm. If, if only it was Friday the 13th, that would be really cool. That would be cool. Uh, but it's not. Anyway, uh, the market has been up for 12 days in a row, Tammy, and uh, five records in a row as uh, the TSX continues to be the star of the show for 2021, up by more than 22 percent now year to date. We saw all sorts of strength yesterday again in the bank stocks. They've been rallying. The energy sector has certainly been strong. And why is that? Oh, look at the price for gas this morning. Almost a dollar fifty per liter. Record high, dollar forty nine nine. So effectively, you look at that. Yeah, it's about fifty. Uh, the price for oil has been steadily climbing here. You know, we had these projections about uh, gasoline hitting this uh, record high, and lo and behold, it did happen. So yeah, uh, maybe I have to take some money out of the market to fill up the gas tank. I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> yeah, these trends, these trends, <laughs> these trends once they take hold seem to uh, to gain steam. Uh, one thing that has cooled off a little bit: Bitcoin. Uh, this time yesterday morning was around sixty six thousand five hundred. This morning it's around sixty two grand, so it's uh, cooled off oh, after okay. a run to a record high. Okay, so hopefully that's the same for gas prices. Like after the weekend, maybe we'll see <laughs> a little cool I think they're a little cool di- they're a little they're a little different, unfortunately. Trade yeah. on different metrics. Yeah, just, yeah. you know, but that's okay. Wishful thinking. Um, mm-hmm. We're seeing uh, some big movement when it comes to uh, the chairman of the board for Rogers Communications, our parent company. Yeah, Edward Rogers uh, removed late Thursday as the chair of. Uh, the company founded by uh, the late uh, Ted Rogers, and this is all about an internal power struggle at the board level related to Rogers' current uh, management. Edward Rogers, though, saying this morning he is going to use his position as the head of the family trust to regain control of Rogers. So we'll see where this goes. And uh, it comes at a time when Rogers is in the process of buying Shaw Communications. And the market is watching this, Tammy, because of the implications for leadership in a, in the midst of a $16 billion deal. And Shaw's stock has been down eight days in a row. Keep in mind, the market's been up, and Rogers is down 12% from its recent uh, all-time high. So it, it does have implications, what's going on at the board level and senior management and how the market reacts to it. All right, we'll see how that develops. Uh, Also, Apple making some changes to its operating system, but it seems Mm -hmm. like that's affecting some uh, big social media brands out there. It sure is. Um, You know, you you go on the Apple iPhone and you hit an app and it says, allow the app to track. And that is a recent change. And what this is all about is advertising metrics. So Snap, Snapchat, the parent company Snap Inc., said last night, they're having a hard time figuring out the metrics of the effectiveness of their advertising if the users on the Snapchat app aren't allowing uh, them to be tracked of where they're going, uh, what they're, uh, you know, clicking on for all intents and purposes. And then you've got, you know, the wider ranging implications. Facebook has warned about this and Twitter. They're all they're all affected. So Snap stock today is down 25% on the earnings and this discussion about Apple. Facebook's down 5.5% this morning, and Twitter's down 3%. So what Apple does and the ripple effects it has through the rest of the market is immense because of the size of that company. And the uh, social media companies are going, oh, great. Well, there goes uh, uh, some ability to track the advertising metrics. Yeah, and get that revenue. All right. Uh, Mm -hmm. And lastly... And leastly, I'm Here we really go. sad to say, uh, <laughs> gas can go up fine, but ice cream, no. Yeah, the yeah. Uh, uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream prices going up by more than four percent, and uh, Ben and Jerry's is owned by the gigantic conglomerate Unilever, which also makes uh, uh, Dove soaps and assorted other things. 
But this is something that, you know, we actually just talked about it earlier this week, Tammy, with Procter and Gamble saying they're raising prices on things. All about the costs of transportation, which comes back to, yes, you guessed it, the price for fuel and the supply chain and all of the other costs that are going up uh, exponentially. It's a ripple effect, and now it's even affecting ice cream. <sighs> That's it. That's I, all you can do. We're, you we're, just we're have to into, sigh. We're going into the weekend on that. I'm sorry. I, I know. Mike, come on. End it on a, on a <laughs> sour, melting note. All right. How's, how's <laughs> Happy Friday to you, too, Mike. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you talk Monday. All right. Have a good weekend, Mike. Thanks so much. Bye. All right, another news and coming up after the break, anger and confusion after Perth MPP Randy Hilliard falsely claims that several people died of the COVID-19 vaccine. Brace your